بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the 14th درس from the book of Hajj قال وعن أبي قتادة الإنصاري رضي الله تعالى عنه في قصة السيد في قصة صيده الحمار الوحشية وهو غير محرم قال فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لأصحابه وكانوا محرم هل منكم أحد أمره أو أشار إليه بشيء قالوا لا قال فكلوا ما بقي من لحمه متفق عليه نعود باي باي سيدنا أبو قطادة الأنصاري May Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala be pleased with him regarding the story when he hunted a wild donkey, zebra, and was not in the state of ihram. The Holy Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked his companions who were in the state of ihram, did anyone of you order him or suggest, or suggest anything to him? Regarding regarding the hunting, they replied, "No." He, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, "Eat its remaining meat." Agreed upon. Uh, this incident uh, belongs to the year of Al Hudaybiyah, the sixth year after the Hijrah of the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In case of a halal person, the person who is not in the state of ihram, hunts an animal with the intention of presenting it to a muhrim or a muhrim in any way assisted him in hunting, the meat of the game thus hunted becomes prohibited. Um, my meaning it becomes prohibited to the to the to the person who is instead of ihram. It's prohibited for the muhrim. It is only allowed for him if the animal is hunted for a non muhrim uh, and aided by any muhrim and not intending it for a muhrim. Is it clear? Meaning if one hunts because Allah Taala wa Taala makes it forbidden for a muhrim for a person instead of ihram performing hajj or umrah to hunt so if you hunt or you assist someone hunting or someone who is not in the state of ihram hunts with the intention of giving it to you then the hunting animal is is haram but if one hunts for himself he did not intend to give it to you or you um, did not assist him when he was hunting for himself. In that case, whatever he has, if he gives it to you, you can eat it. That's why the Holy Prophet asked Qatada, because Qatada himself, um, uh, Abu Qatada, sorry, he was not in the state of Ihram when he hunted. But he was with a group of the Sahaba who was in the state of Ihram. <coughs> so he had a wild donkey, a wild donkey is a zebra. He hunted a wild donkey. The Holy Prophet said, Donkey, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu said, Ask the companions, Did you help him in any way? They said, No. Yeah. So he said, Then you can eat from the remaining. Of. And how we know, uh, I mean, what is the deal of what we just said is in the very hadith that is following. رضي الله تعالى عنه أنه أهدى لرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم حمارا وحشيا وهو بالأبواء أو بودان فرده عليه وقال إنا لم نرده عليك إلا أن حم متفق عليه الصعب بن جثامة الليثي ما الله تعالى بفليز وذهم نارت that he presented to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa Wasallam a wild donkey's flesh when he was at Al-Abwa or Wadan 
they are places, these are places near Medina and Munawar. Uh, different sort of scholars say that the Holy Prophet was the father passed in that, in that place when he went to uh, Medina to visit his um, relatives. When he وسلم, was at Al Abuwa or Wadan, but he وسلم, rejected it and said, We have only rejected it because we are in the state of Ihram. Hmm? So we, we uh, uh, this hadith is agreed upon by both Bukhari and Muslim, like what is the hadith above. So if we, we know in this, from this hadith that uh, this person, uh, as, as Sa'ad ibn Jathama, he used to live in this place. He used to live in Abu and Wada. And he went to hunt, intending to give this animal to the Holy Prophet the Holy Prophet rejected it because the intention of Sa'abu was to hunt for them and they were in the state of the hunt. If he hunted only for himself and they traveled passing by and he gave them from the mid, they would be should be halal to them. Is it clear?